We turn now to the state of the economy and soaring COVID cases could increase calls for new lockdown measures. And as a new president-elect prepares to take charge, here's a look by the numbers. 709,000 American workers lost their jobs and filed for unemployment insurance in a week, according to the Labor Department. So for the last 11 weeks, unemployment claims have stagnated at a high level, but the weekly tally is still sharply down from where it was in March and April. More than 21 million Americans are still claiming unemployment benefits through all pro Programs. In a comparable week in 2019, that figure was less than one and a half million. And while U.S. unemployment fell last month to 6.9 percent, new lockdowns could send that rate back up. The Dow Jones shot up more than 800 points on promising news that a potential Pfizer vaccine could be 90 percent effective at preventing COVID-19. But just today, the Dow slid 317 points amid worries about the worsening coronavirus crisis and signs that new stimulus relief could remain stalled. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.